welcome back to another episode of the Casual Drink and Play Podcast, number 23, with Nicole and Tim. Hi. Per usual. Hello, everybody. <laughs> We've been gone. For like over, a little over a month. Yeah. About a month, give or take. Yeah. Um, I think we mentioned it throughout some of the podcast. Uh, we were in the middle of moving. We are finally in our own place, living our best lives. With some cats. We got cats. We have two cats. We have Cal and Obi. Bitches. <laughs> um, so yeah, we've been gone, but now we're back on a new schedule as well. Yes. Uh, we, uh... We're going to be recording on Tuesdays, posting on Thursdays. Correct. So let's hope that stays. <laughs> let's, let's see how long it stays. <laughs> uh, but we are back and rolling, doing mm. our best. Um, Living our best life. Living our best life. <laughs> Cal is currently under my desk, so if you hear noises, uh, that's me kicking him. You also might hear air conditioning, but... It's fine. It's whatever. Is this generic apartment sounds. Yeah, he's underneath. Like that kind of thing. I'll get oh, him yeah. later. <laughs> um. So yeah, we've been gone, but we're happy to be back. Hello. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Are you happy to be back? Yeah, I think it's great. Yeah. Finally get to do something. <laughs> <laughs> um. I mean, we've just been really lazy. Yeah. <laughs> we moved everything in, and, like. Took some time out for work, then went back to work, and we'd come home and be like, ah, I'm just going to sleep around. Yeah. <laughs> when uh, when we were moving, my mom's like, it takes a month to pack and two months to unpack. And I'm like, why? I mean, we still have some stuff in our closet we haven't unpacked. Yeah, like, it's going to take us a while. We just got, I think we just got by shelving. Yeah. And, like, all that jazz for the I do want to get shelving at some point for behind our couch. Yeah. So then when we start streaming, we can put things on the shelving. That'd be awesome. It'd be really fun. Uh, we do plan on streaming again soon. Yes. We had cut off literally everything that happened to do with this channel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> streaming, I mean, podcast, eh, fuck it. Let's I mean, Plays, like, they died out. <laughs> once, yeah. I mean, because because we were playing a bunch of uh, Resident Evil Village, it was just, about as, just about as long as we were away from to make sure we, we picked up and finally finished it. Yeah. Kind of glad we're done with that game. Yeah. Um, it's on our channel. Uh, there's video for portions of it and then video of us. Um, yeah. Not for portions of it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so if you still want to, if you haven't seen the ending like, by this point and you want to, it's there. Fun yeah, game. It I've also been playing the shit out of Resident Evil 3. Yeah, you're trying to speed run it. Yeah, I'm just trying to go for a good time. Yeah. Which is always good. Yeah, I mean, probably for one of these streams, I'll just stream and just do my best. Yeah. And then you and I have been playing separately, not even streaming, uh, five. We've been playing together. Yeah. yeah. I mean, like, not streaming it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, we've been playing number five, so that's been fun, too. I like Resident Evil 5. Yeah, it's a good one. I, mean, I think it's one of the better ones because there's co-op. It has a bit where Chris... Uh, has he he gets the ability to start uh, punching boulders? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> like there's like things that will happen like while we're playing, and I'm like, then this is when Chris realized that he can punch a boulder. Yeah, well, because there's a <laughs> quote in Resident Evil Village where um, uh, I think it was Heisenberg. Yeah, Heisenberg and Ethan are fighting, and then Chris does an explosion, and then what? Remember what he says? I don't remember. It's something along the lines of, like, what are you going to do? Get your friend to go punch a boulder or something? Or, like... No, it's... Uh, he's like, ugh. That, he's like, I'm going to murder that boulder-punching asshole. Was right, it that? Yeah, right after I murder you. Oh. <laughs> and then it took me a second, and then I was... I, I thought it was really funny. <laughs> I do remember when... Because it's in the uh, recording that's on our channel. Yeah. Um, I do remember distinctively... You were playing it, I started cackling, and then you're like, what the fuck? And then I, like, explained to you what had happened. Yeah. And you were like, oh, shit. Because I remember him saying asshole, but there was so much going on, I couldn't pay attention. Yeah. We did. That, then, like, once we're done, I went back and looked at other people's footage, and, mm -hmm. um, yeah, he's like, I'm going to murder that boulder-punching asshole. Oh, my God. <laughs> so it's, it's kind of funny that in the Resident Evil universe, he's known for doing that. Mm -hmm. At least they didn't, like, just... 
ignore it because they could have given like completely ignored it. Oh, 100%, like, yeah. He didn't punch a boulder. That's not canon. But no, that shit's canon. That's canon. Yeah, he's known for doing that. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, don't mess with Chris Redfield. Yeah, don't fuck it. Don't fuck with Chris Redfield. <laughs> uh, we're also watching through all the Resident Evil movies currently. Yeah, we finished one through four. Four, yeah. So. We're doing a lot of Resident Evil stuff. Maybe we'll do a Resident Evil podcast. That'd be, that'd be sick. That'd be fun. Talk about the... Hell yeah. The lore of it, because you completely ignore it. I mean, because <laughs> there's so much. Yeah. Yeah, there's yeah. so much. There's a lot. So, maybe we'll talk about that one day. We do have a lot planned for the upcoming podcast. Yeah. So. I, mean, I was thinking about hey, you know, my friend Brad, who I haven't talked to in some time, because... He is one of the biggest Resident Evil fans I know. Mm -hmm. So, like, get him on the show. Yeah. So. Like, I was thinking either, like, may may our first... Well, no, because I would say our first guest, like, in person. Mm -hmm. But we had Brad for that one episode, like, a while back. Yeah. Yeah. But, like, get Brad over here. and The other Brad. Yeah, sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah. (laughs) Brad A, and then we have Brad B. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, that'll be fun. But, um... We got some stuff to talk about today, though. We do, yes. Which one to start? Um, hmm. Let's start about... Let's talk about Drake, because we just got some breaking news about it. Um, that he married some chick and has now announced that they have a child together. Yeah. And it's like, all of this is happening post the, uh, him pleading guilty to grooming... Is it grooming, or is it more, like, just sending unsolicited, like, dick pics to well, underage girls? it was all about, like, a, like, attempted endangering a child. Okay, so grooming, pretty much. In uh, Cleveland, Ohio. Yeah. Back in uh, 2017. A 15-year-old girl. Yeah. It was, uh, he met up with some, he was, met, he, he was talking to some girl online at the time, and then she met up at one of his concerts, and then it was, like... A t- child endangerment, like, I don't know, it's fucking weird. I mean, I get it, because, like, he's, like, what, 30, 40 now? I don't know. What did it say? He was 31 at the time. Okay, so 31 at the time. So, so his like, 30s. Yeah. Talking to a 15-year-old? Yeah. That's kind of shady. Yeah. Like, even, I don't know, I... I I know it's like, oh, age is just a number, but, like, at some point, like, when you're 15 and the other person's 30, that's weird. If it was, that's like... half their age. Yeah. yeah. If it was, like, thir- like someone's 30 and the other person's, like, 45, then mm. that's different. Yeah. But... <laughs> <laughs> it's it, it's weird. It's really weird. Don't talk to people that are, like, half your age, or, like... Not ha- well. Don't talk to people half your age, and don't pe- talk I, to people double your age. I mean, when I was talking to girls online, I set my Tinder to fucking like you have to be at least twenty one. <laughs> like, listen, man, I you know, like as, like as weird as it sounds, I'm like, listen, you know, we're, we're like we're going to a bar, and like I hope you have a drink, just like so just so I, you know, not me can confirm, but the bartender could confirm that you are of age of twenty one. Yeah. Because I want I don't want to be so under. It's ah, oh, that's that's yeah, funny. that's, that's weird. Yeah. How you lucked out. <laughs> I did that luck out. Yeah. Um, but I'm not sure what's up with these people, like, I old will, child stars doing shit. I will say with my Tinder, when I had Tinder, we met on Tinder. I think we've talked about this before. Um, but when I had my Tinder, I set it to, like, four years older than me. Or, like, what the minimum was for older than me. Because it was, like, my age or older. I couldn't date somebody younger. Yeah. Because I'm, like... We met when I was 22, so if anybody younger than me, they would be, like, below drinking age, and it was super creepy, because, like, I was at home for most of it. Yeah. I don't want to date some, like, person I knew in high school's little brother. Yeah. Like, that's weird. weird. Like, no. Yeah. I think for me, it was, like, youngest was 21, I think oldest was 26, 27. Okay. When I was... 20, yeah, I was about 23 at the time. You were 23 because I was 22. Yeah, I was. I'm like you dating. always think I'm 22. I still do. <laughs> I still think I'm 21. <laughs> we are wee bibs. Anyways, let's not get sidetracked Sorry, too yes. far. Yeah, anyways, um, but like, not only uh, Drake Bell was like doing shit with child, but uh, 
uh, I can't, Kyle something from, who Corey played Corey, and Corey in house, and Corey from That's So Raven, he was, like, sending, like, like, porno, like, pornographic, like, like, or I guess, like, nudity to, like, like, underage girls online. Kyle Massey. My, uh, Kyle Massey, yeah. Funny enough, he didn't notice me on TikTok. <laughs> I, the while, irony in all that. Yeah, I mean, like, uh, a while back, uh, he had a video, and I... I, I put laughing emojis in the comment, and they he replied with more laughing emojis. They're like, oh, what's up, dude? <laughs> <laughs> I never watch your shows, but I love your TikToks. I do remember you were, like, super excited. You were like, yeah. oh, wow, Kyle Massey actually noticed me, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, oh, that's great, Notice me, senpai. And then, like, now this is coming out, like, and I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> God, the memes with uh, with Drake have been really funny. Because, <laughs> like, there's a, there, there's a been in the, the TV show Drake and Josh or Drake. Is like in the movie theater and gets like arrested. He's like, Josh, Josh, go help me up, Josh, Josh. Yeah. <laughs> and then there's a bit where, because I think the one famous scene from Jake and Josh is uh, the bit where they build the treehouse and then they're inside. <laughs> like they put up the fourth wall, which was supposed to have a door, but they never cut out. Jake yeah. never cut out the door. Mm-hmm. He, he just, just it was just drawn on. He drew he drew he drawn the outline but didn't cut it. And then Jake and Josh is like. Drake, where's the door? <laughs> it's right here. <laughs> but so I was like, Drake, what would you do with those kids? <laughs> I remember uh, when we were at uh, the 4th of July party this weekend. Yeah. We were talking about this with uh, our group of friends. Yeah. And uh, you were like, Drake and Corey are going in the house. <laughs> yeah, going to the big house. <laughs> oh, God. I mean, like, I thought, I thought shit for Drake was going, like, bad. Mm-hmm. Because, I mean, I guess... This is with Nickelodeon stars that they sense like like those younger like uh, just younger stars. Mm-hmm. They take like Nickelodeon, they pick them up, they chew them in a sense, and like what like you know get them for all their money in a sense. Like, yeah. Like working this, working that, working so much, and then they kind of spit them out mm-hmm. because Drake was not. I don't say outcast in the U.S., but that's how it felt. Yeah. Um. A lot of times, because they do, like, a child star will be casted in a Disney show, and they'll play that that character through years, because the character's yeah. growing up, and they're growing up. Right. Um, but on top of that, because they played that character, just like um, the guy who played Harry Potter, they get typecasted. Yeah. Like, Drake Bell is typecasted as the idiot, like, lover boy. Yeah. Teenager. Like, um... God, who played uh, Kelso in that 70s show? Oh, Ashton Kutcher. Ashton Kutcher. He yeah. got, in a sense, he was typecasted as the idiot stoner guy. Yes, he was. So, like, they get typecasted and it's hard to break a typecasting. Yeah. Like, I, like when I was in theater, that was a huge thing. Like, so-and-so plays this character because they're very good at it. And this person plays this character because they're very good at it. Because they're good at what they do, but they get yeah. typecasted. And if there's a show where they're like, we're looking for this, but you're not giving off that vibe because you're so good at this, we don't we don't want to take that chance. And a lot of times Disney stars, because how long they are in that, like, persona and that character, yeah, they get typecasted and thrown out. Right. And nobody wants to, like, pick them up. Like, with, uh, what was it? Um, Sweet Life of Zach and Cody... One of the twins goes on uh, Riverdale. Yeah. That uh, was Cole Sprouse. Yeah, that was great because he was able to break out of it. Right. But a lot of them aren't. Um, but did uh, Drake did start up a music career, which ended up booming in Mexico. Yeah. So, because Mexico didn't have Disney. Right. And so they're like, "Yeah, we love the music." All I have is the mariachi and like trumpets. Yeah. <laughs> they had the dead festivals. He started, like, I think, he, what, he changed his whole Twitter to, like, yeah, Spanish. Like he learned Drake, Spanish. Uh, fuck, hold on. Keep like, talking. Like, a lot of things he, like, switched over to, like, Spanish so then he could connect with his audience, which happened to be mostly in Mexico. It was during Camp Campana. Camp A-N-A. Campana. Campana, yeah. But, like... Where he's living, like... Like, I guess this is a... Not Hispanic lifestyle, but he was... Because people in Mexico, like, they were excited to see him. They would go visit his concerts and shit. Mm-hmm. They so would he actually... was making money. Yeah. He was... Like the, as, as a musician. He was popping in Mexico, which I respect the hustle because he put a lot of time and effort into those people. It wasn't just like, oh, I'm big in Mexico. 
not gonna do anything about it. No, he fucking was like, Hell yeah. yo, I'm popular in Mexico. Let's go. Let's, let's go. <laughs> so, I'm surprised, to be completely honest, uh, that the girl that he was like, quote unquote, grooming or endangering was in Ohio. Yeah. Because, like, he's not that popular in the U.S. So, like, I'm surprised to see like, that this was in Ohio. But, I mean, it might have been until quite recently he was in Mexico. But maybe, like, because it was in 2017. True. No, because it was... It was... <coughs> oh, Excuse me. Bless you. Sorry. You're good. I don't know. I don't know when the whole Mexico thing started. I really wasn't keeping up with that much. Well, I mean... Drake was also arrested for uh, driving under the influence in California in December 2015. Oh, there we go. Witness uh, saw him uh, speeding and, <laughs> and swerving. Oh, Lord. He was released on a $20,000 bond and pleaded not guilty. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, well, with Drake, I think for for his bigger uh, legal issue, it sounds like he'll be... He'll be, he'll be in the house for two years. Yeah, he did plead yeah. guilty, so... Yeah, yeah, he pled guilty. But typically, they plead guilty to get a better deal. Yeah, I was gonna say. But, I mean, with with the way... I mean, as bad as it sounds, with the way of the American justice system, I mean, I I don't want to play the race card, but I feel like since he is white, and if he does well in jail, he'll probably get out. Mm-hmm. He could be out in, like, six months, you know? Oh, yeah. Just like, what was it, Brock Turner? Yeah, oh, that fucking pissed me off. He should have been sentenced for, like, years. But he got sentenced, like, what, like... I think it was, like, six months or something. And he ended up getting released like, yeah. after, like, three. And, like, people were outraged. and. Yeah, because I, I, I think I think he was sentenced a couple of years. But he only served, like, six months. Yeah, or something like that. For un, good behavior. Like, I hate... Hate, hate, hate that so much. Yeah. Because he was literally found raping her. Raping this girl behind a dumpster. Like, he, like, they literally saw him doing the act. Yeah. Why isn't he charged with literally everything? I just, playing the race card, he's white. Oh my god. Like, I don't even care if he was white. <laughs> yeah, I don't no, care who this person, I feel like... When it comes to the court system, we can't look the people in the eyes when we're sentencing them. Yeah. Like, you can hear their testimonies, we can hear everything, but you shouldn't be able to look at them, because when you look at them, you know their race and you know what you're going to do. Right, yeah. Around, uh, around that time, I was working for the uh, Explorers program for a local uh, police department. Mm-hmm. I was like 18, 19, I think maybe even 20. Mm-hmm. Um, I remember asking uh, one of the police officers, because that happened, we were kind of talking about it. I'm like, yo, officer so-and-so, what do you think? He's like, well, if that's what the law says, I'm like, dude, fuck the law. Yeah. <laughs> like, what do you personally think about this? He's like, well, I just gotta agree, we just got to agree with whatever the judges say. Man. I was so fucking pissed. Yeah, like, dude, it's... this guy needs to get, like... Maybe I actually <sighs> look at the world and not just... Think of it as like, oh, whatever the law says, because everything's not black and white. No. I don't know. <sighs> but Bill <Well>, Cosby. <laughs> I, was, I was about to say, you know, with uh, Drake and uh, Kyle, well, okay, I guess in a sense with Drake going into jail, he walks out and sees Bill Cosby walking out. Yeah, he walks in while Cosby walks out. Yeah. Um. What was it? He got let go off of technicality, right? Yeah, I'm trying to pull up the CNN. Oh, here we go. Because I, if I, from what I remember, because um, I read one article about this, it was on a technicality that he said, I will give you a statement, but you cannot use this statement to incriminate me. And what ended up happening was they used that statement to incriminate yeah. him. And then he's like, I have this in writing that you cannot use a statement to incriminate me, so he had to be released. Right, yeah. <laughs> That's funny, though. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah, so it was back in the, I don't think, 2018 when he got, got, got sentenced and all that yeah. shit. But, um... We freed the wrong B word. Yeah. <laughs> but before we move on to Britney Spears... I know. Because <laughs> um, uh, with, uh, with Bill Cosby, because he was... I mean, for those who don't know, um, thank you for making it this far in, in the show. Yes. <laughs> But uh, it was uh, it was believed that as, it was early as the or it's going to Wikipedia the mid nineteen sixties where he was like drugging women and when they fall asleep he would like 
Yeah, you diddle them. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's fucked. Yeah, it's real fucked. It is. I will still, to this day, listen to the song Cosby Sweater. Because the only reference that it makes is about his sweater from the reality show that he was in. It's or not reality show, but his, like... His sitcom. His sitcom. That was yeah. the word I was looking for. <laughs> I'm like, oh, God, I want to see a reality show on Bill Cosby. It wasn't one. a reality show. I do apologize. It was wrong to form a media. It was a yeah. sitcom. Yeah. Because uh, that's the song that only references his sweater from that show. Mm. And I'm like, I can still listen to it. It doesn't talk about him diddling anybody. <laughs> yeah. But I think because it was believed that uh, it has spanned from 1965 to 2008. <laughs> So, in the, uh, across 10 U.S. states and one Canadian province. Oh, God. And then, uh, well, because it was in October 2014, part of a comedian, Hamill Burr's, uh, counter routine mm-hmm. that described his sexual behavior and, about, about Bill Kaiser's behavior, and that went viral. Mm-hmm. And a lot of women came out like, yeah, this happened, and blah, 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 back in... I think it was mostly like in the 80s, like around the time he was doing the show. Mm-hmm. I think it was when he was like really booming mm-hmm. with, uh, with, with, uh, with raping girls. <laughs> with uh, harassing them? Yeah. Assaulting them? Putting the, the roofie in the putting pop. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah, that's fu- dude, It's all fucked. It's all fucked, dude. I do think, um, out of all of this, like... It just, people have power, and I feel like they think that they can do anything because they have power. But it's like, at what point is it like, we need to stop, like, idolizing these people? Like, they're yeah. human beings. It's like, yeah, cool you're on a TV show, cool you're on a movie, cool you're in a sitcom. But we don't have to idolize them. No, not at all. Like, just because they're doing something for entertainment doesn't mean we're like, oh, yeah, they're so cool. They're just people. And people are people, and you don't don't harass people. And slavers are monsters. I know. Oh, boy, they. I mean, I do think that Drake Bell's legal case is not as bad as Bill Cosby's. Oh, yeah. I mean, Drake's, like, okay, yeah, I did it. You know. Yeah. It is what it is, and it's just going... Doing his thing. I mean, Bill Cosby, he did come out. He's a, 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 he didn't, he wasn't like denying everything. He's, mm-hmm. he, he, he owned it. He's like, yeah, yeah I did do that. Yeah. So uh, I give him points for being honest. And <laughs> I mean, yeah, that was all me. Yeah, but the, the him doing that, that was his statement that he couldn't incri- be incriminated on. Yeah. And then he was then incriminated by it. Yeah. God. Oh, fuck. Yep. Do you want to talk about Free Britney and wrap up? Yeah. So, I mentioned it earlier, uh, we freed the wrong B-word. We freed Bill Cosby, and we did not free Britney Spears. Um, if anybody doesn't know what's going on with Britney Spears, because I know Tim doesn't really know. Yeah, no. She's in a conservatorship um, that was appointed by the state of California, that her dad is in charge of all her financials and her day-to-day life. Um that includes, like, her therapy, that includes her, like, people around her, her, like, bodyguards, her, like, producers, all that stuff. Like, he's in charge of all of that uh, because she is not, quote-unquote, sane to uh, do all these things. Right. Um, but in reality, what's going on is that he's controlling her and milking all the money he can out of her because she didn't want to do, like, the Vegas shows. Like, spend 12 hours a day and do Vegas shows nonstop. She was like, I just want to, like, chill and, like, enjoy my life. I, I want to retire, in a sense. And Which she, she should. Yeah. You know, uh, she's, she's done this for how long? Uh, it's since maybe 98, 99. Yeah. Uh, she, she's, you know, I mean, she's past her prime. She kind of wants to be done with it. Yeah. And she, like, she wants to, like, settle down with her boyfriend and, like, have another kid and, like, raise them normally. Yeah. Not like her two other sons, uh, which happened to be during all of the madness that caused her to go into this conservatorship. Oh, yeah. Um, but, like, she was forced to get an IUD. And because she's in the conservatorship, her dad will not allow her to get it removed. Right. Which 
is ridiculous. Like, let her remove it, let her, you know, settle down with her boyfriend, you know, have a kid, all this stuff. Like, stop controlling her. Mm -hmm. Because all the money is going to him, and Jamie just wants all the money. He's like, nah, fuck it. Why would I lose my income? And so they're, like, fighting, like, Jamie's like, I want the money, I want the money. Is that is that their dad's name? Yeah. Jamie. So the dad and Brittany's sister share the same name? I think so. Oh, I gotta look this up. I thought, there's Jamie Lynn Spears. I, I'm pretty sure her dad's name is Jamie. Or maybe I'm thinking of something else. But, like, basically, Britney's dad is like, yo, why would I want to give up my money? Yeah. And so he's refusing to and saying she's crazy. And, like, they had to, like, sedate her and stuff because, like, she was going against him and was like, I don't want to do this. And they're like, well, you're not on your meds. And, yeah, it's a whole thing. But it's just so frustrating. Like, the guy that was like, leave Britney alone was way before his time. Because the only reason why she went so crazy was because of the prop, uh, paparazzi. And they're still to this day, like, following her. And it's like, dude, just... <laughs> she's a human being. Yeah. How would you like to be chased around with a camera all day? I mean, I, I, I guess she just makes a lot of money. So they're like, you know, you're going to do this. Yeah. Do these shows, make me more, make me more rich. Yeah. But your eyes name's James, but they call him Jamie. <laughs> there we go i was right yeah um it's so fucked up like these people are just they're just people yeah and she's just like i don't i don't remember how old she is she's gotta be like what 30s Britney Spears. yeah is she in her 40s 81 so 40 yeah she's 40 okay so she's in her 40s like she just wants to live a normal life yeah she just wants to you know retire Maybe do a show here or there, depending on how she feels. Yeah. You know, live her best life. Just take the money that she's made so far, retire, and, mm. you know, do her do her own thing. But they're not letting her stop. And she wants to be in control of everything. And the state of California is like, oh, well, we can't give you this lawyer because you're not sane. So we're going to appoint a lawyer to you. Yeah. And that lawyer is... Oh, under Jamie's hand, and it's like... It's all fucked. It's all fixed. And <sighs> it really... It's rigged. It's rigged. Yeah. If anything that's rigged, this is rigged. Oh, yeah. Like, up the ass. Like, like 2020 absolutely. election? That's not rigged. This is rigged. Yeah. <laughs> Britney Spears conservatorship is rigged. Yeah. <laughs> just... We just need to leave her alone and free Britney and let her live her best life by herself in peace and quiet, which she deserved years ago. Yeah. Instead of, like, having a mental breakdown in a, like, swarm of, like, paparazzi. Well, maybe with, um, maybe with, uh, with this, all this shit being on the news, maybe she will, and maybe not this time, but maybe, like, this time next, you're like, okay, you know, you're free, here's mm -hmm. all your money, you know, Jamie has, he has no say in, in your, in your, in your financials. Yeah. He's, he's done. One would hope. Yeah, I hope so. I feel bad for her. Yeah. Like, I felt bad for her when growing up, and it was, like, all the paparazzi stuff, and you heard about it. Yeah. That's just this paparazzi trying to, you know, take money, like, take pictures, sell it, trying to get rich. Well, yeah, because, like, they put a high price on Britney's head, uh, basically, it was like, yeah, if you can get a photo of her breaking down crying, we'll pay a million dollars. Yeah. I'm using that as an example, but... yeah. Like, we'll pay you big bucks if you can get her crying. Mm -hmm. And they're like, oh, we will. And then. And then when she shaved her head and was, like, smashing up cars and shit, I'm sure those people got a lot of money. Mm-hmm. So, to, like, Entertainment Weekly or, uh. TMZ. And... TMZ, yeah, that's a big one. Yeah. Do they still do the TMZ show? Uh, I know there's, like, a sh like, an actual show. Yeah, maybe, maybe not. Okay. I don't know. I, I never really watched any of that stuff. I just remember when I went to school on, like, lunch at work, and then it'd be like, TMZ, and I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. I think the one news source I don't trust, well, the magazine is National Enquirer. Yeah. Because, I mean, when Philip Seymour Hoffman, they, they said something about, they, like, they were talking, like, mad shit about him, that there's, like, oh, he's come out the truth, or what he said before he died. And then, it tur then they came out a few months later, like, okay, so what we said, yeah, we lied. Oh, my God. Yeah. And it's not the, I mean, I can't. I didn't prep 
Yeah. Is that anything we, I guess, talk about? No, you're good. National Enquirer. Or is no. it Enquirer? I don't know. It was some fucking... Yeah. It was some newspaper shit. There is one source that I will never believe, which is BuzzFeed. Yeah. Like, if they do an article, I'm like, nah. No. Nope. I'm taking it with a grain of salt. Like, yeah, great <laughs> entertainment. Let me do my fact-checking. Yeah. Because you didn't. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> oh, man, we're hearing weird noises outside, so. All right, ready to wrap it up? Yeah, I'm ready when you are. All right, everybody. Thank you for listening to another fabulous episode of the Casual Drink and Play Podcast. Be sure to follow us on the in- the Instagrams. The Twitters. Uh, uh, we do it. We do a TikTok. Not much, but we'll try to do TikTok more. A lot, a lot of people do TikTok, so we'll probably post some funny shit on there. Yeah, just out there. If you want cat content, check out our TikTok. Hell yeah! All that <laughs> shit's in the description. Mm-hmm. That's where you'll find it. Um, Anyways, uh, remember, don't be racist, and uh, we'll see you next time. Like, like our stuff. Sub- uh, subscribe it. Share it. Share our shit. Please do. We really appreciate it. Share it to five friends. Oh yeah! Make sure to check out our uh, our streams. Yeah. Uh, we don't have a schedule for that, but um, I'm sure you keep an eye out for our, our Instagram. Yeah. We'll, we'll try to set something up and come by. Check chat. it out. Yeah. Say hi. Chat. It'll probably end up being me on the video and talking. Yeah. For now, we don't have Tim. Doesn't have a chair yet. <laughs> oh no! I mean, yeah. I got no nice rolly chair yet, but we'll get one soon. Yeah. So. Everybody, stay safe. Thanks for watching and listening. Bye. Bye.